we have an official update. Now, this is a real update on the Marvel website. This is coming from Disney, who have just reshuffled a ton of their release schedules, putting some projects further back, but some projects, like Deadpool, have been pulled even closer, bringing the release date sooner rather than later. So we're going to go over the official reshuffling of some Marvel projects that was released on the Marvel website today. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and yeah, some official news that comes as a bit of a surprise since we are less than a month away from San Diego Comic-Con, and this news is really what we were expecting to be announced at SDCC 2023. The reshuffling of Phases 5 and 6, as well as some announcements of a few of the projects for Phase 6, since we only really know about four of them. But, jumping the gun a little bit, Marvel and Disney have announced that several projects will have new release dates, and they even gave us a few of those dates that we should now be expecting. We'll jump into that in just a second. I just wanted to take a second to re-announce, we are now doing our live show watch parties and interactions on Twitch. For those of you who are familiar with Culture Catch-Up, it was a live podcast that we did here on the channel where you guys were in charge. If you'd like to take part in this, it will be live on Twitch multiple times a week, as well as the Secret Invasion watch parties, which will be happening also on Twitch. I'm leaving a link to the Twitch in the description and pinned in the comment sections down below, and even if you're new to Twitch, it's free for you to create a new account, and I would love for you guys to become a part of the community. We're planning some social events where we'll be able to share the influence of the channel with members of the community who are also striving to be streamers on Twitch, as well as competing in awesome debates and conversations, and the watch parties, and many other fun activities, so click on that link in the description or comment section down below. Drop a follow, make sure notifications are on. So you can find out when we'll be live and you can jump in and chat a little bit. All right, let's jump to the crazy good Marvel news. Again, this is on Marvel.com, published June 13th, 2023. Marvel Studios announces updates to theatrical release schedule. Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolts, Blade, Untitled Deadpool Movie, Fantastic Four, Avengers The King Dynasties, and Avengers Secret Wars all receive new release dates. So here's what they say. Announced by the Walt Disney Company earlier today, the upcoming Marvel Studios films Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, Blade, Untitled Deadpool Movie, Fantastic Four, Avengers King Dynasty, Avengers Secret Wars have all received slightly shifted release dates. Find all the new dates below. Captain America, Brave New World, previously dated on 5-3-24, moves to 7-26-24. So that one has been pushed back about two and a half months. The Thunderbolts, which was previously 72624 now the new captain america brave new world date moves to 12 20 2024 so that one's going to be pushed back about 5 months blade previously dated for 9624 has moved to 2 14 25 so that one got a little bit more of a push and then the untitled deadpool movie this is an exciting one previously dated on 11 8 24 has been moved to 5 3 24 so pulled back six months and it will be taking the spot of captain america brave new world fantastic four previously dated 2 14 25 moves to 5 2 25 so that one gets a little pushback avengers king dynasty previously dated 5 2 2025 moves to 5 1 2026 and that is a year pushback avengers secret wars previously dated 5 1 26 now dated 5-7-2027. Again, another year pushback. This is major news because, again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we were expecting all of this information to come out during San Diego Comic-Con, but instead, they just went ahead and updated this. Now, we also got updates for Star Wars, for Pixar projects, and for the Avatar movies, and a few other Disney projects that are anticipated, but for Disney... This is something that definitely needs to be discussed on the Marvel side because we were already anticipating major shifts and changes. But Deadpool got pulled closer, taking the place of Captain America, now called Brave New World instead of New World Order, and Captain America Brave New World takes the place of Thunderbolts. Deadpool is really pushing along, even through the writer's strike. We know that Ryan Reynolds has the entire story figured out. I'm sure there are some minute details and cameos and maybe even actors for some of these characters they have to figure out. 
But as soon as they're ready to start filming, which probably is not that far away, we know that this movie has the majority of its ideas and plans already set up. For example, we already know, as it was announced by Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman himself, Wolverine will be returning. We also know they'll be traveling the multiverse, and we've heard recently that they could potentially be ending up in a universe where Magneto has completely taken control and the mutants own that universe. And the TVA might be hiring Deadpool and now Logan, like they did with Loki, to kind of help them out because if anybody can take care of business, it's Deadpool. And this is where we might get the iteration of Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe, but specifically kills this Marvel Universe, featuring many cameos, callbacks, and nods to X-Men characters and actors from the Fox Universe, as well as potentially featuring many of those exact characters from that same universe. Since we do know that Deadpool comes from, originally, the Fox Universe, all of this leading to him ending up in the MCU, the 616 universe, as was explained in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This movie is going to be pretty wild, and hopefully it's a multiverse movie that Marvel can get right, and Ryan Reynolds is taking every precaution to make sure not only is there fan service, but there is story and emotion for an extremely popular character right now. On top of that, we also have to address that we have seen here Avengers King Dynasty and Secret Wars both push back a year each. So this will open up slots for more opportunities for projects like Doctor Strange 3, maybe a Scarlet Witch solo movie to be announced during San Diego Comic-Con, as this is a big story. And we really need to have every single detail put together, and that was one of my biggest concerns, was all of this information was coming to us so fast in Phase 4 that we weren't really able to digest it, enjoy it, and then miss the next project. So spacing it out, adding a few big moments, and potentially, if you have heard the rumors, we're hearing maybe there'll be a sub phase inside of phase six where we will explore different universes and their falling out and potentially falling into incursions as well. So giving us more time for this, I'm not upset to hear that there was a year long delay. I'm actually really happy and it gives me hope that Marvel's actually finally getting everything in order so that they can produce that high quality content that we're familiar with from the Infinity Saga. During phases four and the beginning of phase five, we've seen everything being crammed and squished together with Disney Plus and fans aren't reacting to it very well. Now that's not to say every project has been terrible or pitiful or not enjoying, but having it all crammed together like that is affecting the overall quality and I'm happy to see that they will be taking a step back. And all of this will also be reiterated and announced at San Diego Comic Con, I assume, as well as further announcements like rounding out the phase six movies. Maybe we'll get an update on what will be finishing Phase 6, as well as some cast updates, hopefully for Fantastic Four. We know we're getting the Loki and Echo trailer, since that's been reported on already, and a lot of other exciting things. But to get this news a little bit early is very nice. It's helpful. It gives us a mindset of what we need to be looking for moving forward into San Diego Comic-Con, which with Marvel's Hall H panel, one of the biggest events for Marvel for the year. So you guys should all be excited for that. So if you want to stay up to date on those San Diego Comic-Con updates, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to join our live streams where we'll be chatting, whatever you guys bring up, it's going to be an awesome discussion. Please check out the link in the description or in the comment section down below. Drop a little follow, turn on that notification bell. We will be doing a live later on today. So if you want to be a part of that, check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, be sure to stick around, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys all in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.